Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of UMRV Upper Mississippi River Valley and we're starting this episode in the middle of the night because I have made what I think is going to be a very important discovery of a mod that's not quite working correctly. We're currently leasing two fields using the, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, but land lease mod. And I think it's charging us way too much money. So if we look here as we tick over into midnight, you can see it cost me $22,861 in the miscellaneous section there. And that is our uh, land leasing costs. However, if I look at the lease farmland screen, you can see we should only be paying a little over five, five point six thousand, five point seven thousand dollars per day in land leasing costs, but instead we're paying a uh, an amount four times that because we're on four day months, and so instead of dividing that up into the uh, daily amounts like you see here, it's actually charging us the full month amount every single day, which is really unfortunate. Uh, and that's one of the main reasons why we are so far in debt and not making any progress here is that uh, those costs are so high. And so I definitely can't afford to be spending $22,000 every single day. Uh, that's going to add up to making the farm very unprofitable. So I'm trying to figure out what to do. I think we might uh, try and solve this problem with uh, without having to cheat our money back in or anything uh, crazy like that. Let's go ahead and tick past the six o'clock hour here. We'll get our milk uh, money. So we are still staying afloat. Uh, we're just not making ni nearly the profit that I had hoped off of uh, our huge investment here in all of these cows. If I uh, look at the land value here, I'd need $1.6 million to buy this big field setup over here and another $660,000 to buy the one down here. And so I think what we're going to try and do is really push towards getting enough money that I can just really... Uh, take out this loan. I'm going to see how far up this loan is going to let us go. Now, uh, we do technically get the benefit of having all of that purchased land for a while uh, to increase our total asset value. And so I'm wondering if I can get up high enough here to return the lease on one of those fields and actually purchase it uh, rather than leasing it through the land lease mod. This will uh, increase our interest rates on our loan but I feel like that's going to be a lot more reasonable than if we were to uh, keep going with a land lease mod. So I'm just going to crank this up as far as it'll go, see how many dollars we end up with and buy at least one of those two fields. Well, I've uh, gotten tired of clicking, to be honest, but we're at one point seven million dollars here with a two point five million dollar loan. Uh, and so with that, I think that's high enough to at least go after the larger of these two fields. Now, I'm really hesitant to do this, though, um, while I've got crops on the field. So I'm going to force a save on the game real quick just to make sure that I can do this. It'll be a fun experiment we can do together here. And I'm going to dissolve the lease and then immediately turn around and buy this land back, which is going to force me to rebuy my soil information, although all of my soil information appears to be reset here. I don't know why that is, but uh, we're also going to buy that, which is going to put us into the hole a bit. I'm not going to buy it for the other field since we're going to have to go through and sell that back off at a later time. And then I guess I am curious if I can get this up to 600 K more to buy that other field or not. This seems like a excessive amount of loan. Oh, we finally hit the limit here. We're not going to be able to uh, get enough to buy the other one. So I'm still going to be paying some exorbitant lease costs, but it'll be a little bit less than we were paying. And so hopefully this will be much more sustainable. I'm going to go ahead and dial our loan back down to a more reasonable a number there. And we've got the combine all switched over here to uh, sunflowers. So we're going to go ahead and get out here and start harvesting the sunflower field. You can see we are again trying to stick with our uh, moving a day forward each uh, episode. 
And so we're into the third week of October here. I think we're going to be able to knock out all of the sunflowers here in this episode. We've got this little field off to my right, but I've already got the grain cart all set up over on this other field. And we've got a ton of bales that we need to pick up and keep selling. I think that uh, hopefully once we sell off all of these bales, maybe sell off the sunflowers, we might actually get to a point where we can afford to uh, dissolve that other lease altogether. We'll have to see. Um, we're probably going to hang on to the sunflowers for a little bit, though, until we get to a better price point. I'm excited to try out this 12-row uh, folding header that uh, I believe JHHG Modding released this. It's a pretty slick-looking mod. And I believe this field is going to be super simple to harvest. We are going to fire off a course play worker on it, though, just to uh, knock it out nice and quick. And I'm going to do sharp for the headland corners here, see how that works out this time. Not that we're making stocks or anything like that, but uh, we do have a couple of really hard corners up on this end at least. So we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to force it to have a nice straight path here, looking good. And as always, we've got a little bit of an awkward uh, starting point, so let's just go ahead and help course play out here. We'll get going, cut our way in a little bit here, and... Off you go, sir. You still missed the corner. Either way, that's looking good. I'm going to let this guy go. It doesn't look like the sunflowers are going to fill up that quickly, so we've got a little bit of time. And, man, the uh, nitrogen and pH values are just trash on this field, but uh, I guess it is a least field. It's not like we planted this stuff. And while that's going, we're going to come back over here. I'm going to load up some bales and see if I can get a, another batch of bales sent on up to the cell point. I've been loading these up on the trailer and then sending them back up to town with auto drive. It seems to be working quite well. And so we're just going to keep uh, knocking the bales out on this field. I've sent a few loads up. We get about, uh, I want to say 11,000 per trailer load, which seems like a lot for a handful of uh, soybean stocks. But alas, this is farm sim and we could definitely use the money. All right, I've got a, another uh, full load of bales here on this trailer. So we'll just drive up here to the field edge and send him on his way. And then we better jump into this grain cart and see if we can make sure we've got everything going in the sunflowers over here. I don't want that combine getting too full. Looks like he's already coming back down the long side here, which is uh, encouraging. If I can just zip down here before he's full, I think we can unload on the go. We've got this nice, wide, grassy headland strip over here. Keeps the fields separated. At some point, you know, I might actually combine fields six and three. I don't know. We'll have to think about it. But uh, this, on the one hand, this grass strip does feel like a little bit of a waste of space. On the other hand, eh, it's kind of nice to be able to have a couple different crops going. These sunflowers are definitely not yielding quite as well as our soybeans did. Let's see if I can get up here. It'll be nice to unload on this a long way down, though. Puts us in a good position. Oop, we're slipping a bit here. Oh my goodness. I keep turning off the cruise control by accident. It seems like we're harvesting a little bit faster uh, than we did with corn for whatever reason. I'm going... Seven, I guess I'm going a little bit faster than the combine. Six miles an hour it is. I wouldn't think that the speed would change. Uh, it should be pretty much locked in by whatever the header is set to operate at. But I do seem to have to be bouncing back and forth here between six and seven to keep the grain cart in the right spot. I'm actually driving eight miles an hour when I'm going up the hill there. Oh, looks like we managed to empty him out here. Oh, and he is going to pick up that corner after all. Very nice. Well done, sir. All right. Well, I'm now very full. I'm going to keep uh, this right here so I can unload again after we uh, tackle the next headland pass. And let's go ahead and bring up the uh, animal menu for a minute. We haven't looked at this uh, yet this episode. We're still 
making lots of slurry. We've got a fair amount of feed still here, 65,000 of the total mixed ration in this pen and 48,000 in this pen. So if I remember right, we're using about 24,000, maybe a little bit more per day. So we should be good for another day plus here before we've got to uh, put some more feed in there. Looking good. And we're rocking and rolling here on the sunflowers. Let's see, let's see. I think uh, essentially we've got just a lot of bale work to do before we're gonna be able to start uh, worrying about anything like uh, tillage or fertilizer or any of that stuff. But our driver has reached the store. So if I hop on up here to the truck, uh, this is real easy. We just pull ahead a little bit, we unstrap them, and the sell point eats up all the bales. We make $11,000 and a little bonus for our precision farming score. And then I just send this guy on back to field three. He'll be there in just a couple minutes. It uh, works out really well. It takes uh, apparently five minutes, according to AutoDrive, to drive back up to the field. So that saves us a lot of time letting it take care of those things for us. And as we can see, we're rocking and rolling here with the combine. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good. So what I've been doing in the meantime while we wait for the truck is I do go out and uh, gather a handful of bales here just to get them all in the same spot. It helps when we're getting ready to start loading that truck up. We've got all the bales or at least several bales already gathered and ready to go here. This uh, rear bale spike is working out great for us. It gives us just enough uh, ballast here to be able to pick up uh, two bales on the front. Things are a smidge bouncy, but they seem to work out pretty well for us. All right, so I got the bale trailer going again here on another run, and we missed our opportunity to unload on the way back down. But thankfully, he's not full yet, so we're going to sneak around here onto the other side and see if we can catch him on the way up here before he gets full. It's super close, super close. But we've just made it. Look at that. So let's uh, get geared up here. We are going to have to go seven up this hill. I am uh, i don't know. It's really weird that we're going a little bit faster. However, I think if uh, since we're headed up this way down the long way on the field, it'll probably make sense for me to just hang out on the other end here and wait and follow him back down on the far left side there or the north side, I guess. Which side of the map is that? Well, this map is upside down, but we're going to call it north, even though uh, I think technically the top of the map is south. But we are going to follow him back down there along the other field of ours and see if I can get enough in here. I don't think I'll top off my grain cart, but we might get enough to justify going and unloading into the semi-trailer here. I think we're empty enough for now, though, so I'm going to get into position. We'll get out of his way as he does all the curvy bits here on the headland. I think I am going to have to come back in here with the smoothing tool after uh, harvest and see if we can clean up a few areas here on the ends of the fields. They seem to be really bumpy, which is unfortunate. It's uh, not caused us any problems with course play yet, but I expect that some of our tillage is going to be problematic. And so thankfully we have the tools in game to help us out with that. I am, I can't remember if uh, when you use the smoothing tool, if I'm going to need to plow again after to turn it back into a field or if it'll stay as a field. I'm not really sure, but we keep having uh, this ever going cycle with the bales and unloading and restocking the trailer. And so we're going to be doing this for a little bit here. I'm going to just uh, keep the auto drive guy going here. We're going to keep running the grain cart and probably just check back in as we wrap up this field. There's not a lot to this field. We'll be done in no time here. And then we've got one more field to harvest here uh, across the road. So we'll uh, probably do all of the harvesting in the field across the road by hand. It's a much smaller field and it'll be fun to just run the combine on our own here for a little bit today as well. So let me uh, keep grinding away here on uh, selling all these bales off. 
I'll keep the combine moving here and we'll be back in just a moment. All right, I'm back. I have got the first load of sunflowers here, getting ready to dump into the truck. Trying to make sure we've got our auger spout set as uh, wide as physically possible here. I'm a little bit far away, but I don't want to pull up too much here. We might uh, miss the hopper. There we go. And this should uh, completely top off the semi. I think this uh, grain cart has a little bit more uh, capacity than the semi trailer, if I'm remembering correctly here. That plane scares me every time it uh, flies by. The a giant shadow on the ground, but I can never quite catch it. I can never quite uh, see it when we're just in the cab here. Uh, I have to jump out. There it is. It's interesting. Oh, there it is. does show up. It's just a little bit high for me sometimes to catch the plane here as we're uh, looking around for it. It's quite loud sometimes depending on uh, what other machinery you're using and what you've got going on though. And so we've been busy, busy here. We've got uh, one more round after we finish this round with the combine. And as always, we have been just uh, running these bales up here. Uh, sometimes I don't quite get them off in a single uh, dump. I love uh, the challenge of trying to not have two different sale numbers, but that's all right. The personal challenges I get myself to keep uh, the mind moving as we're selling all this stuff off. You can see we've got quite a bit of uh, money in the bank now. We've been getting, you know, obviously 11 grand every time we sell a load of bales here. So that was the third round that we've sold. And I'm just kind of hanging on to that money for the time being. We'll actually probably end up just paying down some of our uh, debt again. Uh, because we do now have a ridiculously sized loan and I'd like to get that to a reasonable sized loan. However, we also need some money in the uh, old bank account to pay the interest each month. And so while that guy's uh, driving back up here, it looks like the combine's getting turned around. Let's go ahead and run this load of sunflowers up here to the silos. I don't know why, but there's always something uh, satisfying about putting grain into the bins. I love seeing the uh, stockpile there grow as we continue to bring loads in to the uh, farmyard here. This will be our first load of sunflowers off of the field. And uh, just based on where we're at, I think we'll end up probably getting one more load between these two fields, maybe a little bit more, but uh, a couple semi loads is definitely worth our energy to hang on to for a better price here with the sunflowers. I think if I remember all right when we looked last episode, sunflowers are going to sell over the winter months here, which will be good. So I'll start off with the front hopper, get that dumped in here. And if I just take a quick look here in the menu, we've got... Uh, Almost 4,000 bushels of soybeans. We'll end up with a couple thousand bushels of sunflowers. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, uh, good times come selling time. All emptied out, let's get run back up to the field here. I feel like our combine's gotta be getting full and there's the bale trailer going by. So we've got more bales to load. It's just a, uh, a busy time. Lots of uh, little jobs uh, here keeping us going. And of course, where I've got the auto drive points set up here, he's just in the way. We'll have to hop out here and get him moved out into the field. I've been kind of working my way from the front of the field back here. So I've got just a handful of additional bales out here in the corner and then a lot of bales on the back half of the field there still so I'm going to go ahead and drop the trailer here for the time being and let's uh let's get this semi off the road get the combine unloaded I want to keep that combine moving we're already after lunchtime here managed to pick up a lunch while we were up in the yard there and now we've got to uh, get this field knocked out so we can go hit the other sunflower field here before we get to the end of the day. I hate uh, working in the dark and I feel like I probably missed a message here at some point. 
because uh, I don't see the combine. Oh, it is still moving. Look at that. Well, we haven't uh, held things up just yet, but it's got to be getting full. So we're going to book it, book it, book it, see if we can get down here. The 25 miles an hour always feels so slow uh, when you have places to be. However, in reality, we're just uh, flying through this field. Oh, it's not as full as I thought it would be, but it is getting pretty full. Oh, it got full. We didn't quite make it. Look at that. Ah, oh, well. It was uh, worth the shot. Let's see if I can keep up with him here and get straightened out. We're a, a little... Uh, too far back well timing could have worked out just uh five seconds faster and we would have been all right but it didn't really slow us down any and this is gonna put us in the perfect position for packing up and moving over to the other field because we'll be all cleaned out and all of our equipment on the uh closer end of the field here to the exit always a like when a plan comes together very convenient for us and we should be all cleaned out. There we go. I think uh, course play is going to be all done there. That's awesome. So I'm just going to run this up and dump it into the semi as long as we're driving here. I think it'll be the easiest thing to do. And while that's unloading, let's go ahead and grab this combine and get it over here. I want to get set up we are gonna do the next field on our own here so i want to make sure i've got the bale trailer headed back up to the store and uh such before we get started on this and just to uh maximize our efficiency i want to get as many of these bales sold off today as possible but i always find it easier to just move equipment around when we're thinking about it when we're in position to do so so we'll just jump this guy across the field here, get his header unfolding and such, and then we'll be right back over here to get started on this field. All right, another load on its way up to the cell point. Let's get going here on this harvest. I'm loving it. I have been playing with the time settings again, and I'm finding 10x is a little bit fast at times. So I think we're going to try and bring ourselves down to 6x and see how I feel about that. Uh, just because I want to get a, a certain amount of stuff done in a given day. And I felt like we were going to be getting into the dark here pretty quick if I kept it at 10x. So we'll uh, we'll try 6x and see how that goes. I know I'm playing around with a lot of stuff in this series. And uh, hopefully that's uh, not too annoying. We're trying to get things dialed in here as we keep pushing on these uh, daily content uh, videos. I've been having a lot of fun here on UMRV, and I'm really excited to uh, get through our first full year here. We're almost through the harvest cycle and getting all the jobs done here around the farm. I'm uh, glad that we decided to go for a little bit bigger of a farm, and I'm really excited to get into planting season here soon. I think the winter months are going to go by pretty quick. All we've really got to do is take care of the animals and sell some grain. So we'll be jumping right on over into uh, planting season here faster than you think. But we might have just a little bit more tillage I need to do here on some of these fields uh, where possible. I think the sunflower fields are going to end up needing to be tilled afterwards. I can't recall now. I know we looked in one of the previous episodes. I took a look at that map, but I haven't... Uh, retained that information in my mind let's jump in here I always love how when you're doing the sunflowers the corn header is a, a lot higher or the header in general I guess it doesn't have to be a corn header here but uh, it always feels kind of odd but I know you're really just trying to get the head of the sunflower there I'm still just not quite cut out for in-cab driving here uh, for harvest most of the time. I find it so much easier to just jump out here into our external view. So I think we're gonna keep it out here. And we're having just a ton of fun of this, uh, this harvest. Let's see, this is our last field now, I believe. So we're making great progress this episode. 
If I pop our HUD back on here, we're getting okay yields out of this field, but not great. Uh, we're in the yellow for most spots, although I did get some green down there uh, closer to the water. I think that's probably just a little bit better soil. And it looks like our bale driver is ready to be unloaded, so I think I'm going to get up on top of the hill here and we'll pause for just a second. And another load of bales sold off here. We're doing good. But uh, let's keep going here on the harvest. If I can get the combine started back up here. Oh, we missed a single sunflower. Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't think so. We're going back for it. There we go. We couldn't leave him there all by himself. The lonely sunflower. Trying to actually keep ourselves aligned with the rows here. I guess I could uh, turn on a GPS track real quick. Oh, we've uh, created a crooked path. Look at that. We better make it straight or we'll have regrets on future uh, runs. There we go. I've got a straight path now. However, I'm at the headland, so we don't actually need the GPS track for the run back down here. I'm going to take two headland passes off, I think, on this field. It should be enough with the big 12-row head on here. Uh, and it's a pretty small field. I'm not too worried about it since we're not using a worker to do this. I think I can handle not hitting the trees down on this end with only two headland passes. I say with confidence. And we might as well try this GPS track out on the way back down. It looks like it lines up perfectly here with the rows that we've got left. So that'll work good. We'll take a second headland pass off down here just to make sure I'm not getting too close to that water. I think that would be a bit of a hazard here. I'm not wanting to back the combine into the lake. And I'm starting to get full. We're at 72%. If I switch this back over to bushels, we got 237 bushels. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, line up here. I've got some crooked GPS rows here, I guess. So we're going to just keep the track that we're on. We'll jump over here and take this up. And then uh, we might actually finish this out in one hopper. I'm not sure. But since the other driver here is uh, back, maybe what I'll do is we'll turn off GPS. I'm going to set the in-game worker going for a second. And we'll go ahead and get these bales loaded up. And then I'll bring the grain cart out here to empty the combine. She's nearly full at 80%. I think we've got everything up from this corner here. So now we're going to be down in the uh, heart of the field here. We're getting closer and closer. We've got a lot of bales left to go, though. I'd probably say we've got at least four more loads of bales to do. But before I get started on that, we better go and unload the uh, combine just because I do want to get that wrapped up, get these sunflowers up into the bins while we've still got the daylight running at 6x here seems to have slowed us down sufficiently where we're uh, doing good on time if we just check here oh man i don't know if we're gonna make it down to the end row we're at 93 percent got over 300 bushels in the hopper here we're going to risk it we're gonna make the attempt in real life, we would have stopped up on the top of the hill here with a full hopper like this because uh, heading downhill like this, all the grain would shift and roll right off into the cab. However, Farm Sim's got some sticky grain. And I might as well just uh, grab this little tiny bit that we missed here. There we are. And I think what I'm going to do since uh, I don't think it's going to be that easy for us to unload on the go with such a short row, is we're just going to circle around over here and dump the grain on into the grain cart. I keep forgetting to shut this tractor down. It is a lease. I don't need our working hours to go through the roof. 
and fuel is going to be a problem here at some point. We're uh, getting low on fuel in the combine. We did make it through harvest here without having to refuel those, so that's good, I suppose. But I want to get this field knocked out, and we'll get all the equipment back up in the yard, do our fall maintenance on everything, get it all in uh, perfect condition for next year. And we're all done here. I think we've got one whole pass left on this field. So we should be able to wrap this up, get all lined up here and looking good. Oh, we do have a, a full round because there's some more up on the top there. That's good. Let me turn my GPS back on. I think we've got a nice track here that should keep us going straight. And there we go, looking good. And here we go, the last little bits of harvest right here. Our sunflowers are now complete, as is our harvest here for our first year on UMRV. So uh, let me go ahead and just dump this right into the grain cart here, get the combine all cleaned out, and we'll go put this right into the uh, semi. It feels good to be done. Might as well get the header folding up here so we can squeeze on down the road here without uh, getting caught on the fence. I think we'll go ahead and just toss the combine here into this uh, shop that's right here. I I think the door's high enough, yep. Perfect, this will be a good spot for it. We'll get it all cleaned up and serviced here soon. But for now, I wanna get the rest of this grain into the silos, the bins. I don't think this is gonna top off that semi. We have a bit in the back hopper right now, but not enough to fill the back hopper. But I think I'm gonna just uh, split this between the front and the back. So we'll put all of this in the front hopper. Then I'll have a more distributed load across the trailer. There we go. Let's get this guy all folded up and spun back around here. We'll run it up into the yard. I think one of my least favorite activities each, uh, well, each season, but each episode maybe even, is cleaning up the yard, moving all the equipment back to where it needs to be. It's uh, lots of just shuffling stuff around, but a necessary evil. Let's see, I don't want to run over our uh, header here. So we'll just uh, keep tossing stuff into random places. We'll probably have to find a better place to store some of this equipment at some point. But for right now, I'm just looking to get it all done, get everything off of the field here. We do still have a number of bales sitting out here in field three, uh, and actually the little field five right here needs uh, to get its bales picked up as well. And so I think I'll probably finish wrapping up all these bales or uh, wrapping up the picking up. I guess I shouldn't say wrapping up since uh, you could wrap bales, but we're not doing that obviously. But we'll get the rest of the bales picked up and sold here off camera most likely and catch up with uh, y'all next episode. Uh, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do next now that we're done with the core part of Harvest. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, hit that like button, it helps me out a lot. And a final check on our Harvest totals, 1,800 bushels of sunflowers, almost 4,000 bushels of soybeans, um, very nice. That's all for today. Kedrick, out. Well, we were looking good until GPS failed us. Our GPS track is on a one point something degree angle. That's why. Stupid thing.